Hello there, sailors. I'm Cory, and today we'll be uh, playing through the Return of the Obra Dinn and taking maybe like a critical look at the design practices within. Uh, until Cameron gets here, uh, maybe we could discuss spoilers, but I don't think we have more than a couple minutes. It's fine if we don't, you know? There's a lot of, like, very interesting visual cues and clues and hints uh, in the game that are really cool that I've been seeing a lot more of because I've done a full playthrough of the game myself. Mine's the, the third save. And uh, it's really, really interesting to see how someone else approaches solving the problems and what order they go in in the different chapters and storylines in the game. I think we're pretty close to like, uh, I think 30 souls saved and at that point I think everything just sort of domino effects kind of in the end like you, you have so many more opportunities to just guess and just pop a name in somewhere and hope that that's the correct one and then swap them out because like there's fewer than half at that point left because some of the disappearances account for a lot of people missing and uh, the locked chapter I don't think actually includes any deaths. I think I'll thank subs until until it's time. Uh, original Garwolf, 29 month three sub. This sub is brought to you by the Mary Celeste Shipping and Tours, the company that knows that at the end of every voyage, less is more. And Miko Kisai, 23 month three sub. Thank you. Tangle Pixie, 27 months. Thank you. Snack Pack, 14 months. Thank you. Charlie K21, 22 months. Cameron is. Cameron, Cameron R N go asked. Ray Chanter, twenty four months. I just realized I didn't grab a beverage. I didn't grab a beverage. I'm gonna go grab a beverage. <gasps> For me. Thank you, Ghost of Cameron. Kid Spanner, fifty three months. I was considering actually showing y'all in the chat the, the fully clothed lady tattoo, but that one has very special personal significance for me because that is the last one that I solved and that ended the game for me. And because of the way I borked everything up when I played through, like missing the captain's body in his own room and uh, that's mostly it. I missed the captain's body on the way in. Um, so that, that, that really tips things in a weird way because there's like an immediate answer there. Ooh. Maybe I'll have a beer after the break. Part of the reason why I gave you my water was I realized... <laughs> yeah, we have blue luck? Yeah. Someone tidied the prop room, and I spent a full ten minutes looking for that thing. Wow, what bastards. I know. When I was young. <laughs> I, I need this to just start getting older, older and for more you? decrepit. No, no. Although maybe it'll just start to depolymerize, and I can just believe that. <laughs> right? You're like, yes, it's like a mirror. My yeah. own reflection. Yeah, as the thing, like, as the, 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 the printed plastic starts to sublime away or something. Uh... As it starts to just get, like, oily. Yeah, and, like, flaky. Mm. You know, like a pastry. <laughs> hey, everyone, how's it going? <laughs> I am back. Uh, I had a good time while I was away for the weekend. Mm. I hope you, you all took care of one another. Hmm. 
well, shall we battle? I mean, and by battle, I mean uncover the origin of this terrible calamity. 33 fates solved. Yeah, 33. Right. So, good it's song. Like you're over halfway. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, now you're just going to like fall down a hill. Yeah. I, I assume that we'll make like 25 in about 30 seconds at some point. I'm going to adjust the camera. All right. A little bit. So, what I'd like to actually do here. Oh, we, we were there. I want to go through every death and see if there's any names. Any names in the transcripts? Yeah, that were not uh, for people we haven't identified so far. Ooh. And just be very methodical. Oh god. There we go. So we've got Russians here. The Russians are playing poker. Poker. One of them's cheating. Yeah, and then this is Syed in the in in the um, hammock. The cluster. Dying. Yeah, from the illness. Actually, I don't... There's, there's, one of the characters says something, and I haven't actually looked it up, but what is a Lasker house right there? I don't know. They must have picked it up at the Lasker house, which I feel like is another clue that would group the people that die together. Oh, yeah. So, help me, chat. <laughs> You're my only hope. There is no way for us to figure out what a Lasker house is while we're online. No. So. My arms are too short to reach Google from here. Mm. Turn up game audio a bit. Game audio is up quite high. Okay, Charlie was the midshipman who was sick. Lasker just means Indian. Oh, okay. An Indian sailor, Lasker house is where they gathered. Okay, yeah. Where you go to hire foreign seamen. Yeah, we've already got nickels. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Nichols and Nunzio Pasquale. Ah, unknown attacker. So we don't know who. This is the the man with um like the knitted cap. The cap. Yeah. And the the impressive sideburns, who also is responsible for killing the captain. I want to say. No, because the captain committed suicide. Oh, right, yes. But who was shot by the captain. Yes. Or, no, bludgeoned. Bludgeoned? Him. Clubbed. Yeah. This was one of the mutineers. No, 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 this was one of the loyalists. Right? This was one of the, the men who tried to keep the mutineers from kidnapping the Formosans. Yes. All right. Because what Nichols did was lo knock out Hock Sing Lao mm -hmm. and then take Miss Lim and Bang while the fourth Formosan stayed on the ship. Mm -hmm. I guess he was the other guard for the room. So, yeah, this top man speaks uh, Taiwanese. Right. Uh, but okay. the, none of the top men are listed as Formosan. No, yeah, they're all Chinese. Yeah. But I think there's only four Chinese top men, so... I, do you just have to brute force it? I don't think their names are ever said. They might be said in, in Chinese. Uh, but there's always a translation. Right. So, O'Hagan. I think we... Named yeah, O'Hagan was um, the this guy. man. Yeah. yeah. It's numbers for the top men, so probably they're, they're bunk numbers. Oh, okay, yeah. We can always go back to that one and see if um, uh, the, the, the bunk scene. Drowned by a terrible beast, drowned by a terrible beast. I mean, that, that did seem like good guesses. Yeah, they died off screen, grabbed by big noodly tentacles, mm -hmm. pulled into the briny depths. Or wait, no, those were the two that were with oh, Nichols, the, weren't they? Yes, they were yeah, they were the mutineers. Not mutineers, the, but the kidnappers. The kidnappers. 
Yes. Not a lot of names that we haven't attached to people here. Crunch. Crunch. Right, this one's got a steward mentioned. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is Swedish. Yes. Right. Didn't and the just... name John. Yeah. I wish we could listen to this again. We would have to go back to you the... You have to go back. Okay. Yeah. That one's the portion of a leg by the stairs, by the lazarette. Right. Okay. So that one we'll, we'll go back and have a look at. I love that, that terminology. Beat, Beat to quarters! Yep. Hmm. Yes, set it on fire. Hmm. Oh, poor Charlie. He's never been on a farm before. <laughs> and never will. <laughs> This guy. Yeah, this guy is actually the death where I realized that you could watch projectile paths. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, neat. Yeah, because it leaves trails, yeah. right? Yeah, so like for the, uh, the firing squad, mm -hmm. I had a lot of trouble assigning the murderer on that one because I was like, okay, who, who responsible this? Yeah, right? yeah. Like, like... The captain, the gunner, the Nichols for his framing, that kind of thing. And then it's like, oh, no, you can actually just see the, the, the part the of the trails. Yeah. So it was the guy on the right, or on the left, I guess. So here we have, like, many X's to indicate yeah. deaths. And I guess the slashes are people who went missing? Yes. Or who have an undetermined like seven thing? missings in this chapter. Hmm. Right, Lars Lind, this was the Swedish man. Who's trying to get a hold, get onto a boat. No, yeah. he's um, uh -huh. Danish. Danish, right, yes. Over my dead body, you bloody Dane. Right. So the, the game has a lot of ways of um, feeding the player's information. Oh, yes. Right? So, like, there are languages yep. that you can identify if you know what to look for. Uh, there are accents that are hopefully being rendered uh, competently. Yep. Um, people will say each other's names. Uh, you can infer things from relationships between people. The bunks have numbers on them, so if you can see someone's face, yep. you, can, you can extract information that way. Let's see, what else is there? Because there's also like their physical locations on the ship. Hmm. Because some, only some people will go up into the rigging, for example. Right, yeah, only the top men will be in the rigging. Yeah. Only the officers are allowed aft, right? I guess. But, uh, like, carpenters will be in the carpenter's room, surgeon will be in the surgeon's room, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Oh, squished so badly. Yeah, that one's a big crunch. And the game really does think that we have enough information to solve all of these now. Because we have found all the bodies. You've seen all of the scenes. Mm -hmm. So. What we're looking for is... Um, Basically, the connective tissue. So if you go back to, to Abigail's death there, because I mentioned I missed the captain's death, where mm -hmm. he actually calls her by name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? So you didn't get her name. I didn't get her name, and she's just like, right. I want my husband, and there's like three women passengers. Right. And so I had to like do a lot of juggling with them, hmm. because like if you... If you don't eliminate her name, then it's like, okay, any of these women could be 
anyone. Right. So yeah, like, yeah. Which woman so, shot the guy when they were trying to escape on the boat, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, I could see how that would, like, there would be a cascading effect. Yeah. Right? So, this guy. Yeah. The one who shot the Dane. Yes. Um, he... It was like, you killed my brother, I remember you. He ceases to appear in this memory. Yeah. So he actually survives the doom. Yep. Or does he? No, the Doom is the last one. That he's in? Or yeah, part seven. Right, because he's on the ship. He's, yeah. He's on the boat, the escapes. So if he, if he died, would he have been, would have been by Terrible Beast? But he disappeared. Mm-hmm. Maybe we, have we eliminated enough Indian sailors? Indian, Persian. I mean, he does look Sikh, right? He's got the long beard and yeah, and the turban. Where does he appear in the underway? He's up there at the top. Yeah, so he's with the other top men. Yeah. Okay, well maybe we can make an inference from that. All right, Where the other thing that uh, you can pick out is clothing, because mm. groups of people will wear the same clothing, like uniforms. Right, right. Oh, maybe he's Persian then. We've got very few options, and he's, he's not Chinese. No. Because you can and see the other ones that would be labeled as Chinese. Right, and this is another top man, if we're going with... Them being together. Yeah. So... Ugh. Unknown top man. You can also go into like the electrocution scene and see most of them. Hmm. But that's just not where they die. Well, he doesn't appear Chinese, so maybe he's a Scot? Or is this a Scot? The one with facial hair or the one without? Hmm. Do we hear him speak in any of his... Oh, he's the, he's the sneaky sneaky man that get clubbed in the captain's quarters. Oh yeah, this guy. As we all know, Scots uh, all talk like dwarves, I guess. I don't know. Nobody tosses a Scot. That's my... Unknown top man. My, my dwarf impression. Hmm. So if this was the other unknown top man, let's make this guy the Scot. And this guy can be the Englishman. Okay. I don't know why I did that. And then we have kind of the tradespeople on board. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The ABs, the able seamen, more topmen. No, oh, but they're all, they're all mixed up. Spiked. <laughs> Unknown. Actually, I want to go, if we know where this guy died, and we know it was in the captain's quarters. You want to go listen to him gurgle? Yeah, and see if he has, what kind oh, of accent he has. Oh, you're in a memory right has. now. Cannot get ye captain's quarters. So, yeah, this is an interesting, like, problem-solving um, strategy. 
I guess. Yeah. Trying to, to, to um, you have to be quite, I assume you would need, you know, a, a healthy proficiency in English to have any chance of winning this game. If, if if you are trying to assign things based on, um, yeah, it's that one. I think. Just mm -hmm. like yeah. Man over there on the floor gurgling after getting knifed, and then yeah, because this man is wearing an officer's coat, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did we assign him? I don't know. Uh, if you tab from there, yeah. Yes, that was first mate. Yes. Okay. Yes. William. Oh, here's the helmsman. <laughs> He's <laughs> holding the helm. I'm, yeah. He's the only person that ever touches the helm. <laughs> it's his. Yeah. Any other obvious jobs that we're missing out here? Yeah, but these guys are all wearing similar coats. Maybe these are stewards. I think you've got that one steward locked in. Yeah, so oh. maybe their their uniforms are diagnostic. Unknown steward. It's really hard to. I think you can uh, WASD the pages. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. I think the mouse wheel is too sensitive for the low number of pages. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe we can use... This guy's blonde. <laughs> Maybe he was Swedish. And he also is standing kind of next... Well, he's standing nearest the officers. Maybe he's the captain's steward. Eh, let's not get too greedy. Spiked. And I guess this guy is a seaman. Guy's Danish. And then... mm hmm. Interesting. Who are you? Have we even found your body? We must have. Nope. Disappears. Disappears. Okay. Well, let's keep moving through. Right. I think you were in the doom? Yes. Right. Guy got squished while taking a poo. Yep. Terrible way to go, although I suppose it's a way to be thorough. Ugh. <laughs> what a way to go. Right? <laughs> Does the gunners... Do we have a gunner's mate? Gunner's mate? One exists. We don't have them labeled. Nine memories, where do you appear? Depicted in the underway sketch. 
Hanging out there with the Siemens and the Topmans. Yeah. Shot, cannon, beast. Can I just say that I really like the name Leonid? You, you may. It's a good name. It is. Nathan Peters Unknown, you disappeared. Hmm. Unknown Steward, right, right. All right. Yep. Okay, so we were working on disappearances. Hmm. And then the bargain. We have no idea what the bargain was. So that's... Is that all our information? The escape? This is whatever you got, Paul's name. Mm -hmm. I think we just brute forced the two Russians. There's only two of them. There are. Was shot by a gun by an unknown officer. I feel that we can just say that this was this wasn't Nichols because Nichols is dead. Yeah, it was the other. It was um, Hoskett, wasn't it? Or was it Martin? Was it Hoskett? Because then he makes his way upstairs? Or does he... Does the guy that shoots the guy get hit by uh, the other guy? Right, yeah, because there's, there's like a murder There's two circle. bodies right down here. Yeah. yeah. One of them stabs the right, midshipman. Yes. Okay, so this Davies shot Davies. this guy. Okay. Yeah. Unknown attacker. Yeah. Which is the same guy from uh, the guy with the knit cap who later goes on to kill the captain. Or uh, attack the captain. Is killed by the captain. So something is fishy here. We've got something off because we've assigned a bunch of things. Yeah. And none of them have locked in. Yeah. So I'm going to say, un no, goodbye. <laughs> Unknown top man. Right. Or this guy, no, we, we listened to this and decided that he had an English sounding gurgle. <laughs> he did. So what have we played with here? We have you. You. So these three are off in some way. One of them is off. At least one. Mm hmm. Then there's all these disappearances, because there's the one boat of escapees near the end, and then there's the mutineers, I guess. Yeah. Because we've been fairly conservative with assigning things. Yep. I feel that we the game expects us to play a bit looser than this. It's everyone you don't guess you have to solve by inference. Yeah. So do we know that this guy's the purser? He has a peculiar hat. He has a hat. Let's look at the purser's job description. Maybe it says he's got a particular hat. Oh, no, it's the glossary. Oh. My bad. 
Presser! Accounts for all cargo and trade transactions. Manages a small item store for the crew. What does the bosun do? Foreman in charge of general crew operations and the equipment required to sail the ship. So, where is the map of the ship? Bosun. Bosun. The bosun The bosun mate. Yeah. The bosun. The bosunry. Yeah, or we keep the bosuns. Well, let's go down there and see if we can assign the bosun. Is there anything, anyone then, in there, usually? No. Have but maybe there's... Maybe we can look at something? And then carpenter shop, gunner's store... Where does Purser go? Passengers, cargo. Oh, Bosun's store. Oh. Somebody died in here. Someone? Well, that's the crab. Oh, the crab right, body yeah. There. And then I feel that we need to get into the lazarette somehow, but I don't know how. And then there's also... Okay. Well, let's go down to the Bosun's... Um, store? Or yeah. the Bosun net? Yeah, the Bosun net. Find a nearby it's body. It's on the gun deck. Yeah. And see what we can do. Purser's on the Orlop. Okay, thank you, Nexus oh. Fox. I was just looking for the where the purser's room is. The There's Orlop deck is uh, floor two, right? Because this is gunnery. I don't know how we how we number the floors. <laughs> is is first floor the ground floor or is First floor, the floor under the first floor. Is Gunner's floor the first oh. floor? And then the second floor is the Orlop. Because it goes cargo, Orlop, then. It's cargo, Orlop, Gunner, main deck. Yeah. Poop deck, I don't know. Orlop is traditionally the lowest floor. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's. Ooh, what is that? Like a hanging knife? Is it a switch blade? A or razor? For yeah. shaving? Yeah. Is it a straight razor? It's on a lanyard, so is it worn on a person or is it just a clue for their habits? Yeah. It does look like a razor. A whistle? Oh, that's the bosun's whistle. The thing oh. that goes boo-wee-oo. Oh, cool. I had no idea what those looked like. I thought it was like... Oh, well then, who is wearing the whistle in the... In the the shooting? Yeah. Um, I was uh, trying to think. Where's the Life at Sea sketch? You would be in Justice at Sea. I don't think we can get the resolution needed. Uh, yeah. But it would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, bosun. <laughs> we already had it. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. Well, never mind me then. To the other bosun it. It was down on the Orlop? Oh, the, the Boston storage room? Mm-hmm. Or, sorry, the purser, wasn't it, that we were looking for as well? It. Yeah. See, this is really fascinating. Starboard so walk. Passenger, Boson, Lazarette. And then upstairs on the Orlop is surgery. Purser's office is over oh, there. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, let's go look in the purser's office. front of the ship. I feel betrayed. And then I wonder what happened to all this stuff. Those, those corridors that go around the edge. Ooh, stuff. Yeah. OK. 
Can we interact with any of no. these? No. This game is hateful. Mm. I, I, I can't open any of the drawers. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything that interesting in here. But we know if, the, if we see a person in here. Hmm. Okay. Like that chair knocked over makes me think that, that a person somebody ran out at of some here. point. Yeah. yeah. So we can see into the purser's office yeah. from the other things. So why don't we? Well, why don't we look at this guy? Who I think we've identified. We may have. Yeah. Yeah. I think we've identified who this was. And go have a look. Oh, such squishing. Aha! Aha! Oh, it's that guy. Hey, boy. Okay. You. You're the purser. Met an unknown fate. Is he a disappearance? He might be. Disappeared in the doom. But I think he's on one of the boats. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. So this guy is another officer of some kind. We don't know. Because the regular officers are wearing, like, bicorns. Yeah. This guy's got a hat. Yeah. Some kind of flat top cap. Yeah, because the captain and the first mate wear their hats, like, sideways. And then all the other mates wear them front to back. Yeah. So this doesn't have, hmm, and the bosun's mate is French, we know that. To shreds, you say. The carpenter probably wouldn't have a fancy hat. But then who's left? And both the carpenter and the carpenter's mate are American. Yeah. And this guy didn't sound American. Was not knifed by Duncan McKay, was knifed by an unknown officer, because it was this guy. Right. Now we have a carpenter's room, so that works. Yeah. We can go and look at that. Probably scope it out in kind of the same way we did with the purser. I imagine you must be like gnawing through a fist here, being like, yeah, it's so easy. Oh, yeah. I, all of the faces mean something to me. <laughs> well, let's go and have a look at the, the carpenter's room then. Yeah, no. Uh, completing the game in a timely and efficient manner is not the fun of this game. Okay. I'm glad. I just hope I'm not driving anyone, like, up the wall with ineptitude. Uh, and the... Lang? The carpenters are up here, right? I think, yeah, at this end, somewhere. I like the gun carriages stacked up together. Hmm. Aha! Okay, so... And there's stools that are knocked over. Yeah, so somebody ran out here in a hurry. Let's have a look at... You died not fighting the thing. However you did. Decapitated, yep. yeah. Such crunch. Yeah, I can't open doors. Mm. And we're on the wrong side to look through the windows. Okay, so let's go look through the window. Because I think you can just get straight. In. Oh! Uh, still the limitations on the memories. Mm. Okay, what other deaths happened down around here? 
Oh, the cow. And then, oh, wait, who what? are you? Who's that? Who's looking in? Me? Oh, I had no idea he was there. Amazing. This? The artist. Oh. It's the sketch artist. Yeah. I mean, the you, kudos, that's where I'd be. I mean, it's not entirely safe. No, as We've it turns seen, out, yeah. yeah, like... Spikes can travel. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, this guy's about to eat shit. Bro's got the guns. Oh, no. He's fine, actually. Ah, here are the gunners. Getting weapons Gunning up. it up. Yeah, who is that? Oh, that's that guy that's in the front. Yeah. Ah. I mean, this definitely seems to be a sailor of some kind. Does he seem like a, a, a Hamadou Dion to you? <laughs> it's entirely possible. Because, yeah, th maybe this is the... Okay, that's the gunner. And then you are the bosun. Okay. And you've got a blood... You have a wow. small mortar. <laughs> yeah. Ready to do some business. And you... Wow, I did not pay pay good attention here, did I? It's the... All the bodies are meaningless until you have context for them. He's pushing this open? I think so. To get further down? Yeah. So what's on the deck below that? Why would you want to get down there immediately uh, for this? They were screaming about how the monsters were going for the lazarette. Right. But this is the opposite end to the lazarette. So it's yeah. Just... So you would be going for captain's cargo, passenger's cargo? Maybe the just a place to hide. I don't know. Yeah. Is there an earlier scene we can grab from here? So we can uh, kind of see his path? Yeah, definitely. This is really interesting. I like this a lot. What caliber does that gun take? Four? Maybe four, five? Five? Yeah, yeah, that was like a four or a three. This was the man who was crushed. Um, that was the guy who got owned through the wall. Actually, you know what? I want to go and look at the um, the cow death scene quickly. Brick caliber. <laughs> Handful of tiny rocks. I think in one of the Warhammer novels they talk about how um, the marines on imperial ships, not like the space marines, but like the the armsmen yeah. have basically blunderbusses that are full of like um, uh, round up like or broken safety glass basically Ooh. Ooh. so they don't like breach the hull. <coughs> well that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe one of the carpenters was around. Nope. Ah. Not even remotely. Yeah. The only boat trivia I know is that the phrase uh, freeze the balls off a brass monkey is because of the uh, cannonball holders, which are the monkeys. And the oh. brass ones sh uh, shrink at a different rate from the balls, from like the iron. Oh, so they would balls. actually like fall apart? Yeah, the balls would, would fall out. Interesting. To my knowledge, that's correct. <laughs> Seems plausible. Okay, so there was nothing that we were lo really looking for here, because we aren't able to yeah, see. Yeah, you were just trying to see yeah. who, who was around, who's, who's snooping. Mm -hmm. Okay, so noble effort, but not functional. Wait, where did I come in? There we are. Well, let's go and look at this guy who got owned through the wall. He, not him. Not him. 
Different guy, different wall. Maybe that's them, like, striking something it to light it? might be. I don't think that's what the, their firearms would sound like. Oh, we can't get through here. But who can we see? Some of the boys. Yeah, though, this is... The surgeon. That's the surgeon. Trying to ease the, the butcher off the wall. There's one Midshipman. Of the, yep. Being good boys. Yep, bosun. Uh, can't get a good read on that. Uh, here. This is very, like... Yeah. Like, I think it, distance is also... Oh, this guy has a scimitar. That's cool. Yeah. Damn. Because we actually know who was down there before this. Because the butcher has been spiked already. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, who is this guy? Persian? Arabian? I don't think Arabian is one, one of the possibilities, but I think Persian okay. is. So, a Persian man with a turban. I feel like I feel like the placement of the blocking the face is deliberate. Yeah. Agreed. Um, so this is Soldiers of the Sea. Yeah, who's present? Is anyone from up above present? Yeah, Omid Gul, the Persian top man, met an unknown fate. Just Seven memories di disappeared. Disappeared in the doom. But I feel confident that that was that's him. Yeah, is the only turban demand who appears in this that I can see. Yeah, and then there's someone coming down the stairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Facial the captain, hair. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, probably with the captain. The, with yeah. the goatee? Yeah, yeah. Can we tell if that guy managed to open the the door to the Lazarette? Is that the, the, the thing he was trying to push? The looks open. Well, he's gone. Yeah. Is this the end with the, the gunner store on it? Sorry? Is this the end with the gunner store in it? Oh, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so they're continuing to pull weapons out and swords. And this guy, again, an officer of some kind. Not the purser. Who's left? How stupid am I? Who gets to wear hats on this ship? Are you just the gunner's mate? Why would the gunner's mate have a fancier hat than the gunner? Maybe you're the gunner's mate. No! No, that's the gunner. Yep. You think he has a fancier hat? Like, the gunner's hat goes all the way around with its oh, brim. Oh, yeah, I suppose this guy only has, like, 30 degrees of the, um... Or the 45 degrees. Are you just a carpenter? I would think you would have... Apron or something? No. <sighs> yeah. 
Are you the gunner's mate? Game's not gonna not gonna play nice. <laughs> no. Cause we definitely hear you talk a bunch. And you don't have an accent, I want to say. Yeah. Fresh bastard. Do you, are you American? If we go to where you are, do you sound American? Yeah, if we go up here to where all these dudes got owned oh, in yes. sequence. Jaws 77, are you asking what specific body we're trying to identify or the point of the game? Because the point of the game ah. is that we're insurance inspectors and this ship showed up more or less empty except for the bodies. Um, so we're just trying to assign fault for deaths. Um, which means we have to identify who the bodies are, mm -hmm. uh, or rather just what happened to everyone that was on board. Uh, but in the case of bodies, uh, how they died and who killed them. Soldiers of the Sea that I was looking at? No, where did... What were you? I was trying to uh, get a sense of this guy's voice. Uh, where he's like... Then go to the bosun's death. Oh, okay. Because that's when they're talking to him, right? Right. Or Either that or this one where he's shouting at whoever else is down there. Because yeah. the X's are him. Okay, yeah, yeah. I can turn this up a little bit. Oh yeah, he's. We take ship and sail east. <laughs> Trade re wretched fish and shells for food. Mutiny! Mutiny! Bastard! No! Yeah, this guy's got full-on Chekhov voice. Hmm. So, of all the officers, yeah, I'm now comfortable assigning him gunner's mate. Hmm. Polish. Mm hmm Okay. So we can just let that rest. Yeah. We've got... I, I feel comfortable with something here. I'll turn the volume back down a little bit on the music. Yes. Try finger but whole. Thanks, Dark Souls. It's, it's yeah, I. It, Dark Souls really affects you mentally. Like you, you just can't look at an ass without just being like, yeah, critical strike. Well, it's like that. There would just be like you would find a, a hollow body like slumped <laughs> over a rail like this, right? And the um, the text beneath it, yeah. like the the orange message would read, yeah. What a lovely night. Yeah, try jumping. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
leap of faith. I feel like I'm missing names. Like there were more names said and now I can't find them all. I think going through the script, there's only one name you haven't assigned that's mentioned. Okay. Brennan bring the surgeon's, surgeon's kit. Yeah. So who's Brennan? Could you be Brennan? Brennan's not a top man. We know which section of the career list he's on. Are you Brennan? Henri. Who else we got? Who else we got? Who else we got? Oh God, we can, we can assign so much now. Because he killed people. <laughs> yeah, he killed people fucking left and right. Brennan just fucking, like, buzzsawed through a third of this crew. I mean, I give more credit to Nichols than that. Oh, fair enough, but... Okay, who did Brennan kill? Seventeen memories. That's 17 a lot of fucking people. Chances to kill. Uh, that's where he gets smoked in the head by the captain. Yeah, here he is. Um, here he is killing one of the officers. That's JV Davies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where else does he appear? Oh, and he kills, um, uh, what's his name? The passenger. He's the one who kills the passenger. Ah. Shot, gun unknown. Hock Sang Lao. Hock Sang Lao, yeah. Brennan got the crit. <laughs> Brennan's the only one that hit. Yeah. Yeah, fair. Uh, unknown. Do we have any other unknowns? Knifed by an officer. Who are you? Oh, I oh. know. I know who knifed him. Yeah, the 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 gunner's mate. Yeah. Dang. Okay. See? It just, it just rolls. Yeah. So that puts us at what, 39? I think so. Okay. So who do we have no idea about yet? Carpenters. Yeah, the carpenters. We don't know. So we need to find them. The bosun's mate. Torn up. Was. We just don't know who he is. Yeah. We know how he died. Or is he? Is he labeled? Did we? Did we label him? Uh. No, we didn't. Yeah, we don't actually know who he is then. He was torn apart by those horrible beasts. Don't know what happened to the helmsman. Don't know what happened to the purser or even who the purser is. Actually, you labeled the purser. Did I? Yeah. He was in the room. Oh! Right, yes, yeah, 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 you yeah. just don't know what happened to him, because yeah, that vanished. guy disappeared. Mm -hmm. I mean, if he stops appearing in The Soldiers of the Sea, 
then being speared by a hideous beast is probably like not that far off. Yeah, or drowned. Mm -hmm. So we have one seaman from Sierra Leone. Do we have any other African crew members or passengers? Not that we have missed so far. Yeah. So is it just, is it just you? I mean, could also be American. Who knows? Why don't you check out where they appear? Murder part two. Soldiers of the Sea, see. part three. Squished. And this is where he dies, right? The X is where they die? Yeah, that might be them right there getting steppy on. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, let's go and see what he sounds like. Couldn't pick a username? Yes, there is a room for the carpenters. No, it was up here at the base of the stairs. Mm. No? No, it's down... Is that body only accessible through the crab, though? The crab in the storage room? Oh, maybe. Yeah. I don't like this thing. Sea spider riders. Yeah. No. Didn't really seem to have an English accent or. Do, is he American? He had a big fucking gun, is what he had. <laughs> American, then, probably. <laughs> Winston or a Marcus? You look like a Winston. We really need to get in to see the carpenters. You're here with all the other... Met an unknown fate. Well, this isn't even... Unknown seaman? These are all just like... Hmm. Hmm. I really need to have a look at the carpenters. Yeah, I have no idea who you are. Eleven memories, though. Yeah. It's moving cargo around. Yeah. Oh. If he's in a bitter cold, he's one of the sailors or the top men. Unholy captives. He's kind of around on deck. Yeah. Well, I'm ready for a drink refill. Okay, well, let's do that. Like... You look like a tradesperson. Just remember, you just cleared three, so even if you got it, mm -hmm. it's not gonna well, lock them in. Out of curiosity, I'm just gonna go, before we take a break, I just want to see if there's any other ones that we had assigned, because that's the only one we had assigned. 
uh, before we filled out the other three. Yeah, and you're probably going to have to go for the disappearances. Yeah, which... Because there's like nine of them. Yeah, that's an awful lot. And I feel like if it's in during the doom, probably drowned. Like, if their bodies aren't on the ship, then they fell in the ocean, right? Yeah. So. was right and the outfit was correct the kind of apron-y yeah if you're working with wood i assume you want something to protect you from splinters so if you're not here let's all say that you died of monster even if we don't know your name So we know we need one more, hopefully, and we'll be able to uh, close the book on everything we got here. I'm sorry, Corey. I, I just want to have a quick look through. Okay, that's two with names and causes of death. Yep. Do we have a third we haven't assigned yet? I think we need to start... I wonder if there's any good to taking two that you know yep. and preserving them, and then just running through the list on somebody you're missing one piece of information on. That seems valid. Okay, let's do like, that. Because you've got two drownings that you're pretty sure about. Yes, so. and then, yeah, then a bunch of people where we... I don't know if I have enough information. Okay, so let's go and, and we'll be back in five minutes. Yep. See you soon. Later. So I remembered, in my locker, many, many months ago, someone sent me a small stack of ship's biscuits. May I try a, a chunk? Do you have any dental work that oh, you're yeah. concerned about? Hmm. Hmm. So as a person who has had a lot of meal replacement drinks, like mm -hmm. Soylent, or Huel or other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is basically those, but together. Mm -hmm. But the flavor is totally the same. Hmm. Just like grain, yep. flour. <coughs> Not even any salt. Oh, no. <coughs> yeah, literal like, do you require carbohydrates? Have some. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We thought sugar cubes would increase morale. So in order to avoid that, we have developed the ship's biscuit. Ah. Uh, important question, did they come with weevils? Uh, none detected so far. Yeah. They came wrapped in wax paper tied with a ribbon in a plastic bag. That's how yeah. you keep the weevils out. I mean, hold on. Let me... I want to do one more thing. All right. He 
you gonna try to melt one? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Bowl. Bowl. Biscuit. Beer? Both are intact. Beer. This is our blue buck from Phillips. It's a kind of a light lager. Mm hmm. It is, um, and in as much as a ship's biscuit is food, blue buck is essentially uh, beer. Beer. It is absolutely just beer. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So we're going to leave this for a couple of hours while it uh, uh, rehydrates. It's moistening already. You can tell. It's become glossy. Yeah. It's wet on the outside now. <laughs> Why was that so distressing? Because the word wet was involved. Uh, okay. So, currently, I have two people whose deaths I am fairly certain about. Mm -hmm. uh, people who disappeared during uh, during the doom. And then we have several more that we are not sure about. Correct. So let's try to um, find somebody who I don't have enough information about, and I'm not confident I will have enough information about. I think your options there are your um, Chinese top men, mm -hmm. right? Or uh, other earlier disappearances, maybe. Yeah. Because like you've mostly locked everyone in. Yeah. And it might be actually worth like those two deaths with the cannons. It's probably worth looking at again. Okay. Like just looking at the scene? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what information we can get. Because I, we probably won't get that many of these. Right. Um, so I want to be sure that where I am, I'm uh, uh, trying to dirt the game out a bit. I'm using it uh, uh, in places where I don't have that, or where I'll need it. It's like kind of banking your confidence against things that you're not confident about. Mm -hmm. There's some of a man. Oh, right. Th these were the two guys who got owned together. Together, yeah. There's this, there's there's this, this little hat. hat. It's it's so nice and clean. Where's the other dead guy? Is he just outside mostly? Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like yeah, he got the... blown out the window. Nah, can't do doors. Okay. Because, like, this is getting shredded open. And I'm wondering if there's something we can see through here. Oh. Into that room? Yeah. I'll have to go and check that out. I can't get over how heavily armed this ship was. Like, they were armed to the teeth. Look at all these cannons. I mean, they were going down West Africa for some reason. I don't know why. But I think they were, like, basically privateering. <laughs> yeah, I guess they're an East Indiaman, which is, like... Half merchant shipping, half uh, aggressive well, war force. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll just we ran across another ship and we just took their stuff. Now it's our stuff. Yeah. You know, you, spending the cannonballs really allowed us to fit more cargo on board. Mm -hmm. So you can exchange cannonballs for cargo. Oh yeah, I guess it makes it. They were heading for Formosa with their Formosan passengers. 
food book passage on a ship heading for Formosa. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh, X, right. Yeah, the X book. Did we ever figure out what the X meant? I don't think we ever did. Okay. Hey, those guys stole our cannonballs. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess all we can say is that the deceased uh, body is a semen. Hmm. Oh, well, all right then. I mean, I guess you're gonna get a little view there. Hmm. Not much though. Yeah, nothing terribly interesting. Okay. So there's just some some brute forcing to be done now. I feel. Oh. Oh, more clothes. Mm-hmm. Stewards? Yeah, where are we right now? Stewards. Stewards. Okay. Three bunks. And yeah, these are, that's a steward's check. Yeah. So we did, we did have the stewards pegged as being stewards. But it's good that that's in that room. Mm -hmm. And I never noticed it before. What is this? It looks like a waist wrap. Yeah. Or a shirt? An undershirt? Maybe? It's on a it's on a hanger, but it's Yeah, it's not over the hanger. It's clamped. Yeah. I really enjoy how this how this game tries to communicate with you and give you hints as to what things are. And then this side is the bosun's? Yes, yeah. this is the bosun. And then here's the midshipman. Yeah. And this is the surgeon's room. No. This no, is this the midshipman's room. Yes. yes. That the midshipman is in. Yes, where he crawled surgeon. to to die. Yeah. Is he the last midshipman at that point? He, he might, might have, have been. been. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because here we have the... This is the surgeon, right? Uh, no, the surgeon's... Oh, this is first mate. Okay. Yes, these are all mates. No clues that I'm really seeing. Just kind of like anonymous oh, bag. Bag. Yep. Yeah, nothing yep. terribly diagnostic here. I don't even know what these are. Buoys? Maybe? Floaties? Yeah, the, the artist sounded like he shat himself inside out. <laughs> but he and was, in fact, being strangled by a noodle. Yeah, arm. he was, in fact, getting uh, wrung inside out. Oh, yeah. So it's, you know, awfully convenient that he was on the shitter. He was, otherwise, he was extruding at that moment. Yeah, because otherwise that probably would have involved a lot of dry cleaning for people. Yeah, I think those might be coils of rope. Hmm. Just because of the loop on the bottom and them being kind of wound. So he was finished. And then he was finished. <laughs> the fact that one of the last noises he makes is a fart. <laughs> oh. Which I assume is the space between, like, small and large intestine being emptied. And this guy's just like, what the hell are you doing in there? 
like this look of concern. Like, uh oh. <laughs> like, that's. <laughs> that's not normal. Like, should I go check or should I let him have his privacy? <laughs> that doesn't sound very normal. Okay, number 44? Mm hmm. Oh, wait. Do we actually get. Oh, that sword. Mm -hmm. Nice. Number 36 oh, for, has for the sword. 36. Yeah. But we already know that that's. What's his. What's his butt? Do we? Mr. Top Man. Did it, did it actually fill in? Oh, I don't know. Because we, we're, we're sitting on two mm. right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that one filled in. <sighs> These are not the Russians playing poker. Mm -hmm. and There's the second mate? Second oh. or third or fourth. So, and who are you? Because presumably, third mate. Thir third mate, followed by his steward. Third mate steward. Okay. Who is English? Hmm. Oh shit! Damn it! <laughs> I used my cheats. <laughs> Sorry, camera. You'll just have to hold back from answering any questions for a while. Seven dick holes. <sighs> God damn it. Uh, reminds me of a real confusion that I had with a Soldier Boy song. Mm -hmm. It's the anime song. And so one of the lines is, uh, like, it's, it just mentions holes in my dick. And I always imagined that, like, a flute, like just <laughs> like a clarinet or something. Like something. Yeah, it's just so seven dick holes. <laughs> uh, it doesn't mean that. I I thought about it. It doesn't mean that. <laughs> right? Cause yes. Yes. Yeah, give it skin flute. That's totally a term. So who else is but in it's, this it's, scene? But it's 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 actually the full line is holes under my dick, cowboy bebop when I'm blasting. Because it's the song about anime, so he mentions every anime he can think of. <laughs> but that's Soldier Boy for you. Hmm. It's a very memorable visual image. Yeah, who else is in this memory? Mm. I'm glad there's not a transcript. <laughs> Fart noise. <laughs> Fart noise. <laughs> Dot death. Because many of these people will be, um, several of these people may be in their bunks. Yes, but again, only their little tootsies are showing. Or mm -hmm. their fully clothed lady tattoo. It's true. Wait, what happened to you? Oh, well, you know. We don't know what happened to you yet. Fourth mate and fourth mate steward. But we do know that there are several bunks that are full yeah. and that have numbers. So 43. 43. We already have assigned 43. What about 44? No. Forty one. Are you forty one? It could be. You're definitely sitting near bunk forty one. Probably drowned by a terrible beast. Yeah. I mean, that, that seems like statistically the way a lot of these guys are going to go. 56. I have to thank Chief Engineer Michael for those 100 bits because of the added artist death description hmm. uh, in brackets, outrageous shitting. 
Mm. Then in brackets, sigh of relief. <laughs> More in brackets, crunchy noise. <laughs> Crunch fart. Like, accurate. Mm -hmm. It's it's terrible. It's terrible. It's just like, what a way to go. What is happening over there? Please, sir, have some defining characteristic. Mm-hmm. Other than your baldness. Because oh. it said there were other people here. Oh. X. X. Is, is there only one X bunk? Because we can only read the labels when the, the hammocks are strung up. Mm-hmm. Wait, whose death is... Oh, right, this is the artist's death. Yeah. Bunks. Mm -hmm. People in chat were like, hey, this is a good thing to explore. Have you been up on deck? Yep. Oh, no. Wait, we can go up on deck from here. That's interesting. Oh. Yeah, that's bad. Mm -hmm. well, there's your problem right there. People haven't quite cottoned on to the imminent. The, they're examining things. It's Wait, like what's that. this? Oh, this is the... Is the ex bunk the bunk of the person who's dead seen you're in? No. No, it does not. Because, for instance, in The Bitter Cold, there's a man dying in a bunk while another man sits on a bunk that has got the X on it. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, so that's the Dane who was murdered. Lars. Yeah. yeah. And then the fourth mate and the fourth mate's steward have discovered him. Right, well, the third mate and the third mate's steward are downstairs. Mm hmm. And this guy is going to climb up into the rigging because we know they're about to do some pulling on the rope. Yeah. And then... for, for reasons. For reasons. For the reasons. They're trying to pull something up. Yeah. Hey! hey! That raid from Ben. And the plaid posse. Hey, how's it going over there? Never realized you had a plaid puss emote. Oh. That's nice. It's quite strong. Okay, so who's in this scene that we haven't identified? Because there's two men in bunks whose face. Three men in bunks whose faces we can't see. Four men in bunks. Four men, men in bunks. bunks. Five men. I think nope. it's five total. Him? One? Behind you? Over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody here. Nobody here. So, yeah. Okay. Five bunks. And we know 43, 44. Okay, 43, 44. 45. 45. But those are all named already. Yeah. 56 and X. 56 and X we didn't have. Send Ben your healing energy for his allergies. Um, oh. All right. I will try not to sneeze into the microphone. Henry Brennan is... Okay, it was 56. So there's actually not a lot of information here. And then Bunk X. I don't know how to assign Bunk X. We already know the guy that was sitting on Bunk X before. Yeah. In the, in the bitter cold scene. Yeah. We've already got him identified. So I don't think there's any useful information here. Do we have his death yet? Because for the for the X guy. Uh, I don't think so. I mean the Indian one, not whoever's in this scene. Hmm. We're now reading the Ben dabbing emote as Ben sneezing. Hmm. No. What it's is locked. that? It's, it's locked. 
it's just another way out. Okay. Who are you again? This is the cook. It's a little too close to the murtail. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. He's like, lol, lol, cook it. Lol, 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 lol. Let me get real up in there. It's <coughs> hustling somewhere. Yeah. But no beds around right now. Everyone's kind of like standing around gawking at this thing. Yeah, because Nichols has just come back with his two rowboats full of these. Mm hmm. Can you get on deck? Aha! Oh, yes. All that good, good people standing around and interacting. Yeah. Oh. All right. Oh, the surgeon with his surgeon's bag. Right, because the, 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 the through and through. Yeah. Spike. Yeah, look, all these guys look at this got guy owned. Holding the spike in his hand, like, hmm. Wait, is I, this a body we hadn't found yet? No, because okay. they died together. Right. What the hell is going on? What do you know about these things? About the chest and your dead friends? This is me. Right, because one of the Formosans is still alive. Hmm. So that's who they're interrogating. Hmm. Shell? What shell? This is the guy that shot Nichols. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, a job well done. Ah! <laughs> Over there examining those bodies, and then mm -hmm. right in front of him, another body appears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> another body is created. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is the electrocuted bad guy. Mm -hmm. You've only got Three. four names left because you've you've got one crossed off because you have it assigned, but not mm. because it's locked in. Mm. So, and we also don't know if it's wrong. Hmm. Hmm. Just give him a name. Okay. You look like a Chi Shang. And I think we assign this guy by bunk. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Does he look Welsh to you? I don't know. Really? <laughs> I guess? Now you're 50 50 on top men. I mean, Chinese okay. top men. Hmm. Game's like, that's fair. Hmm. Hell, these line up. Alright. 
So we don't even know what role this guy has. If he's like a seaman or... Yeah. Where is he? He's all over the place. Mm-hmm. Where's he in the sketch? He's with the other sailors and the top men. So up on the top deck. Yeah. Hanging out, doing some gambles. And he's in a bitter cold. So he's in one of the sleeping bunks. So seaman. Mm-hmm. This looks like semen job. Yep. Actually, is this all of the... Oh, no, it's not. I was like, is this all of the Indians? Because two of the Indians are there. Yeah. Are these all seamen? Yeah. Yeah. There's no way a top man would do this. It's Lars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, the top men are up upstairs. Yeah. Already. I guess. And you... Another seaman of some kind. Yeah doing some kind of laboring. It's just not enough info here. <laughs> oh, he's got his bosun's whistle on him now. Oh yeah, he does. And he's matrixing out of the way. Yeah. I really enjoy that. I guess let's look at people's shoes. Hmm. <laughs> Does anyone have stripy socks or visible tattoos? It's the other arm. Nay. Does anyone have a fully clothed lady tattoo? <laughs> a scandalous fully clothed lady tattoo. I mean, she's showing ankle. You can see hmm. her feet. Disgusting. This guy. Hmm. Who the hell are you? I think he's got like a Welsh chin. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Where do you explode? Oh, you're the guy bleeding out. Yeah, he's Mr. Legman. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go there, then. Actually, what's the, what's the name of... This has absorbed all the beer, and it's Working still... Working on it. Yeah, do you need a top-up? Well, that's atrocious. <laughs> I mean, you used beer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> On something that is basically like, tastes like a digestive biscuit? Hmm? Please. I'll take the, the mushy end. Hmm. 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 It's not as bitter as I expected. Mm-hmm. It's more sour. Mm-hmm. Like, quite sour. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Oh, Mivar, I don't think we can feed it to be. Just got beer in it. Hmm. Wait. Right, yeah, the legs. Yep. <laughs> I'll take the mushy end, Crunch. It, it was the mushy end. Keep pressure here. Yeah, who's Stewart? All's fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. Oh, John. Yeah. <laughs> I 
realized that when I was asking if he was if he was Welsh, because I was like, wait, the name of the Welsh guy is John, and that's the <laughs> name that's in that. Yeah, in the thing. in the dialogue. Yeah. Okay. Do we have his death listed? Well, we... Captain, the Captain Stewart has been around for twenty years, right? That's the Captain talking. Yeah. Probably about this guy. Mm-hmm. Captain Stewart. Captain Stewart. Swedish. Mm. Yes. And this guy's back. So we have the surgeon. But who else is working here? Surgeon's mate. And who's holding him? Is that one of the midshipmen? Or steward? One of the stewards. We know it's not Paul. We know mm -hmm. it's not the captain's steward. Yeah. Ship steward. Or second mate steward. One of the other mates is around. Because I think Nichols or whoever is down further. Mm hmm. Yeah, it could be the second mate steward because Nichols was second mate. Somehow. Don't know how he made it through mate school. It's a question from the chat. What is the bosun holding? I think it's just rope. Yeah. Just in in the, in the picture. In you know, in here, because he's in the doorway. Hmm. Yeah, it's just mm -hmm. rope. Yeah, he's tying up the prisoner. Yeah, tying up the prisoner. You can totally get around. You can. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Or are you the ship steward? True. Mm. It looks more Swedish than Indian. Yeah, fair. Right? Mm hmm. Like, that man was blonde. <laughs> yeah. And Swedish is in the scene. Unknown top man. Let's say. What happens That's before this scene? Like, what's what's in the book? Uh, well, it's the page before. I mean, okay. Orlock deck. Falling cargo. Huh. Hmm. Right, because they're taking the the mer person down. Yeah. 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 So what actually happened down here when that was happening? Like, what, what are they after the one guy for? Or was he on the boat with... I don't know. Nichols or whatever. Yeah, was he on the boat with Nichols? The, the guy that they're taking. Yeah, to the... Because I don't think anyone lived. This is Soldiers of the Sea. Mm-hmm. And so Unholy Captives is... So what? What happened here? Blah, 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 blah. Merfolks. Yeah, so these are just them bringing the merfolk aboard causes mm -hmm. a lot of issues. Does the steward attack the other sailor because they're bringing things aboard? Maybe. He's got a little darker complexion. Yeah, could be. Who doesn't like that? Well, it's not gonna... Unless you have three, right? Mm-hmm. Darium, what's on the ground next to John? I think that's just the surgeon's bag. Mm-hmm. So 
roll of bandages. Oh no, yeah, this is the guy who's with... He's with Nichols. Because the... Nichols is here. Yeah. So maybe it makes sense that the second mate, Stuart... Is that mate Nichols? Have we confirmed that over there? Maybe we, we should. No, First that's Bosca. Yeah, okay. Nichols is dead at this point because he's been shot approaching the boat. Mm -hmm. With his yeah, marvelous bounty of treasures. Of course he has. Okay. So, he was attacked with a sword. Hard to say. Yeah, no, we've definitely got something wrong in here. We know that's Paul, the crew. Hmm? The, because there's the four stewards. Mm-hmm. And then the, the ship's steward, mm -hmm. who we haven't identified yet. Yeah. Okay, so maybe this is the... Yeah, because we've got... He says my steward, so... Yeah, so I'm assuming it's... it's His. Yeah, his personal steward. Could you be the ship's steward? Like, that's where the real ambiguity is. Mm-hmm. No. But we know there's other scenes where the stewards are next to their mate. So maybe yeah. we should just... Yeah. Sorry, I'm... Instead of, like, wasting time here. Hmm? That was a suggestion, because hmm. clues... Oh, the artist is here? Butcher. And the butcher. And the gunner's mate is keeping them from, like get into, like... Oh, and they're bringing the box back down. Mm-hmm. Who are you? We have... N oh, are you the carpenter's mate? If you're working together. Is that the carpenter? Isn't... Yeah, this is the carpenter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Marcus was his name? Yeah. Or Winston. Winston. Marcus is the carpenter's mate. Yeah. And you are right that guy. Abraham. These, I'm assuming, are just sailors. Yeah, all seamen. Mm hmm. Like they're doing just kind of like basic labor. Yeah. How far forward can we get? Or with, I don't know which end of the boat is which. Oh yeah, yeah. What can we? What can we see? Nah. Nothing. And we can't get up on deck at all. No. Okay. So we're getting bits and pieces of information. Mm -hmm. you just gotta keep on. Mm -hmm. but this one, I think everyone is so far away you can't identify them. Mm -hmm. But I, and I don't think we can get upstairs. Yeah. These people not knowing that the end is coming. Mm -hmm. So 
So who are you? That means you've got three. Yeah. You need anything? I think I'm okay. Okay. Timothy Butement had the tattoo. So it definitely feels like there's multiple ways of um You can see it in the drawing? No, you can't. Which one? Timothy Butman had the tattoo, apparently. No. Hmm. That's wrong. You can't see the tattoo in the drawing. You mm -hmm. can see the tattoo in another scene. Hmm. I mean, hopefully. It seems like a pretty good piece of information. Yeah, it's great. I was actually surprised that you saw it, because it's like so close to the the white edge of the, the scene. Mm, mm -hmm. It's just like, why bother going near the edges? It's just hanging out of the bunk there. Yeah. So, okay. So we have one left last seaman who hasn't been assigned. Yeah. Sweet. Don't call him Shirley. You, unknown top man. You're 50 50 on top man? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> yes. So who's left? We've got that one steward. Mm hmm. Ship's steward. Bosun's mate. Mm hmm. Okay. I want to look at the ship steward's job. Hmm. I think they're just grouped into stewards. Okay. <sighs> but what does the ship steward do? General ship duties hmm. for the comfort of the ship. Barrel boy, we've got. Yeah, what a what a way to go. Not even nobody even knows you're in there. <sighs> okay, I think we've got everyone we can in this scene. Mm -hmm. But still, if you, if, uh, I'm I'm curious mm -hmm. about the crew register. Like, who do we have left? Okay. How many? We have one, two, three, four, five, 
six. Okay, six. So we've got two with deaths. Yeah, so Samuel Galligan was spiked, spiked by, by a, a terrible, terrible beast. beast. Should we go and look at... Unknown, Philip Dahl died in some way that we don't know. The other ship steward, we don't know how he died. Should we check like their final scenes or? Yeah. Okay. This is a steward. Yes. And you died on the boat. That implies. Do we have Nichols Steward listed? I the first mate steward or second mate steward? Second mate steward. Let's say that since you went with Nichols, that you're his steward. Right, second mate. Mm -hmm. We've got those disappearances. John Naples, seaman, was torn apart by a terrible beast. Is torn apart. Oh, option? no, no. How did he die? Yeah. No, you I think bled the, out. the steward killed him. Yeah. With something. Uh, with a sword. There's a bloody sword. Right. How did I get terrible beast? Well, you know, it's during whatever Oh, ship yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unholy captives, right? Another steward? Yes. Was he spiked? Definitely. Right, he was. Or was he shot? Was he shot through the wall? Because he was the one who died inside the walkway. Let's go visit his body. Yeah. Take a look. It's in a book. A book of bodies. I can kill anyone. I'm a gun. <laughs> Reading rainbow. What? Yeah, because there's no spear shots through here. He was spiked, and he crawled over here. Oh. <laughs> no. Like, he, yeah, he did crawl over here. But then right, something like, like somebody smoked him. shoot it. Aha! Who did? I think they're it's... getting thrown the gun in an earlier scene, or we can identify yeah. based on who's here. He's the stripy guy. The guy Is with the stripy, stripy shirt. Guy? Okay, stripy guy. Yeah, he was shot. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Death Note reboot. Yeah, kill you. By unknown seaman. Presumably, this is a seaman. Yeah, stripy shirt. Sure. Mm -hmm. I think you're safe. Yeah, what a good like fake out. What's the other window look like? Can you see the the path? Yeah, yeah. yeah there's the there's there the is. there's the trail. Boom. Okay. What options are left for Stripey Shirt Man? Scene. Where's his last scene? Disappeared. Hmm. Maybe other scenes? Because yeah. we don't get a scene for him to disappear in. Yeah, this is where you're being thrown the gun. Soldiers of the Sea Part 5, 4. Unholy Captives. 
what were you doing in here? We just looked at this I think he's dragging the guy away. Yeah, yeah, he's dragging the guy away. Loose cargo. You're hauling stuff. So you're definitely a seaman. Because you're doing labor. Okay. Yeah, he's down on the gunner's deck doing stuff. Because they talk to John, right? John is the guy who's bleeding out. Yeah. So who the fuck is left? Bosun's mate. What? Really? Okay. Two more fates, correct? Really? Not even a three, right? Is it getting that? It's that narrow. Huh. What does the shaded area indicate? The bargain. Hmm. That's that chapter that's locked off. Hmm. By the surgeon. Hmm. All right, so third mate. We don't have a final memory for you. And we don't even have a disappearance for him. Unholy captives. A bit of cold. Is he in the escape at all? The doom. Last appears in the doom. Oh, Martin. Yeah, because Abigail yells at him. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Don't know what happened to the third mate. Ship steward and Captain Steward. Yeah. But we know that's the bosun's mate now. Mm, mm hmm. He gets shoved somewhere. Yeah, okay. So you're the second mate steward. We're pretty that's sure. that's the only steward left. Mm hmm. Uh, shot. Yeah, that one seems reasonable. Okay. All the seamen. Okay, all the seamen, all the top men, all the midshipmen. Stewards and third mate. Yeah. Ship steward, captain steward, and second mate steward. So we've got two named stewards with their cause of death. Did you drown? That has to be the error here. The other options are spiked or clawed, dagger or burned. Yeah. So. By a terrible beast. Or maybe speared. We could go back to that. Clawed. Because he disappears, right? Unless... Or does... Yeah, he, he dies in that scene. Yeah, okay. We have, so... his, we have his scene of death. Mm hmm So let's go and look at how he died. Up on deck. And then pile of bodies. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe from Miss Lim's body? Yeah. Where he at? I think you can E the bodies to see which one you're looking at. Yeah, yeah. that's our boy. Is he getting grabby hand right in that scene? It, he might be. But maybe he's already dead. Where's he at? 
Oh. Ah. Bang's got him. Yeah, Bang's got him. With a knife. Yeah. Oh, yeah. good eyes, right in the throat. Execution. Knifed. By Bang. Good guy Bang. Yeah. Like... Presumably good guy Bang. Yeah, like, old man Bang gave it his all. Nice, good eyes. All currently solvable fates correct. Let's go back to our rowboat. Okay. There's nothing left to do on the Oberdin. So yeah, we go back to the boat and see if he'll row us out somewhere. We should go. Storm's nearly about, so we won't be coming back. Okay. Good to wait. Hmm. Standing in the boat. We're on lumber. Yeah, I guess this poor guy has been waiting here for like eight hours for us. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Time skip in hmm. this game? Cargo company, all cargo lost. Pay up, 5,000 pounds. Okay. Crown cargo. Hmm. Estate fined 25 uh, pounds. Suicide, gun, criminal findings, murder of crewmates, four. Edward Nichols, criminal findings. Attempted mutiny. Ah. Fate unknown. Extraordinary valor, exceptional performance of duties. Neat. Abandonment of crew and vessel. Hmm. Stupid cook. <laughs> the cook's family gets gets money for his idiocy. Hmm. Mm hmm. No claim made. She's the captain's wife. Oh, no, for... Oh, oh. Nunzio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I meant Abigail. Hmm. Yeah, she gets nothing either. Or her family gets nothing, I guess. Her, I think the captain was her only family. Yeah, I guess so, with, with her brother dead. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So something I've discovered while watching you play is that multiple answers are okay for some people. Interesting. Whether they're clawed, spiked, speared, or other. Okay. There's a little bit of wiggle room. So how did we do then? We found all the fates. Okay. 
so I don't know. Fate exploded. Became exploded. So specifically, in the case of that misfired cannon, mm -hmm. I put the blame on the cannoneer. Oh, really? Yeah. And that oh. was accepted. Oh, okay. Versus the beast, hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah, people have been mentioning in chat, Gakuryo, that uh, the, the captain can be blamed for everything because he's... Responsible. The, the tippy top. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. And actually, I think I listed some as alive where you didn't. Oh, really? Alive in Africa or the Azores. Oh. Total claim 29,000 pounds. Not certain, though. Hmm. Not certain? I'm not certain. Oh, you are? We, we can check my book, though, because okay. it's in this same game file. So we've signed it now. Yeah. Okay, the pocket watch remains in my possession. Morocco. Okay. I, I think that supports him being alive in Africa. Yeah. One year later. Okay. Hmm. Delicious tea. Totally opening it inside, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chief Inspector, I write to you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. He succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your package. He was very pleased with your correspondence and asked that his gratitude be expressed by returning the book to you, along with the means to complete it. As for the three of us that remain, the Oberdin is a distant memory and a dreadful chapter in our lives that we wish to forget. Do not write back. Regards, Jane Bird. There's a flashing light over there. Okay. Click. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I feel like this is appropriate. <laughs> I forgot that there was one death in this area. Oh. The mate. Yeah, the third mate. And monkey? Yeah, monkey. Monkey is your, your key. Yeah, the surgeon had a monkey. Yeah. Third 
third mate was spiked. Uh, Sam hell is going on. The surgeon shot his monkey. The mate was spiked. Someone else was something else. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. A third shell. Captain didn't toss them all. Leave it. Help me lift this. So they're trying to free one of the captured... Huh. Remember they put him in the lazarette because yeah. he had he had killed the one of the sailors. Yeah. First mate and first mate steward. Two of the stewards. Okay, so you were spiked. Yeah, we don't have to fill anything out anymore because right the insurance has been finalized. Okay. This is just for us. Oh, okay. So the lazarette goes straight to the water? No. Okay. No, it's at, like a holding area. Oh, okay. It's inside the hull. Oh, okay. Might as well. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Captain is making a deal. Yeah. Yep. What did you die of? Made a deal that made yeah. the Kraken go away. Yeah, 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 because he was down in the, the hold when the Kraken attacked. Or and he, he, he went down there during, right. the, during the attack.
Interesting. Another one. Call it off, damn you! This is your Kraken! You brought it here! Send it back! So he just goes through and murders them all. Yeah. Until one of them... Is anyone out the door watching? No. I don't see... Yeah. I didn't notice anyone earlier. What is that? His hat. Oh, it's hat, of course. Right. Duh. Yeah, because the surgeon had a monkey, the monkey on a rope. Yeah. So he could kill it in the lazarette and then withdraw it. Quicksilver is... I'll, I'll need to look at the thing. Cauterized. Maybe he's seeing like the mother of pearl of the yeah of the shell. Hey, So yeah, poison and burn work. So oh, there are multiple options for hmm. the deaths. I guess I guess we leave now. But I mean that's it. That's the whole yeah, story. That's that's the entire thing. Did we get the good ending? <laughs> Sounds nice. Hmm. We get a new book on our shelf. Me. And a brand new monkey's paw to wish upon. And we also found out that mer people don't understand synecdoche. <laughs> so if you tell them that the ship has to return safely, yeah. specify the crew as well. Mm. So yeah, there's interesting stuff to look at mm. for this game for localization. 
and who they cast in certain roles for voice acting. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Somebody was talking earlier in chat that there's a very good article about how localization was actually a big problem for this game. Yep. Hmm. I'm currently playing another game where localization is key because it's not an English game, uh, Pathologic 2. I, I need to get a copy of I, that. Yeah, I've been playing it, and it's the most frustrating game I've ever played. I, I've Because I've heard you can't save everyone. Like, it's you, all... It's not even that you can't save everyone. It's <laughs> that the, the core of the game is being so close to the edge of death that you're deciding between moving the story along, saving yourself, or mm -hmm. saving someone else. Mm -hmm. Like, you have... You you fall victim to the same things that everyone else falls victim to, like violence or disease. Right. But you have limited resources for dealing with it, and you're supposed to be, like, curing people. Mm -hmm. And uh, your deaths are part of the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I need to pick up a copy of Pathologic 2. I've heard many, many good things about it. Yeah. Okay. So, this I, is what I meant by, like, the character voicing is important. Hmm. Yeah, so far it's all looked like actual native speakers. Yeah. Well, I guess the, uh, the Danish, uh, or the, the, the gunner. Yeah. Polish? Polish. The gunner's mate? All right, that, that was good. Yeah. What an interesting way of, of solving puzzles and being able to converge on solutions while still having a lot of like wiggle room mm -hmm. for sure yeah like there's things that i i solved in there like mm -hmm. the the lady tattoo that i saw in scenes right like i saw the lady tattoo so i found the bosun's mate mm. but really the lady tattoo was the bosun's mate i think wait maybe not huh Yeah, wow. Okay, I'm really impressed. The lady tattoo is 37. 37. So not supposed to mate, which is number 7. Mm. But still, like you can see the tattoo in a scene. Okay. But only in like one scene. Somebody was saying that they had to identify someone by their socks. Yeah, I've seen people mention their stripy socks, and that's never a route I took. I was just like, oh man, although their feet are like the same, so when they were in the bunks I ignored it. Right. I, yeah, I didn't even notice anyone's socks being different. Mm -hmm. Why did we have a magic watch? For the purpose of the game. Yes. Oh, the, the Chinese top men are disambiguated by the shoes and socks? Yeah. Oh, okay. But, yeah, I only juggled their names until I hit one. And the, the one that's struck by lightning is the first Chinese name in the list. So it's like... Yeah. Really, an option called Fell Overboard instead of Drowned by a Beast. Yeah. Oh, okay. And like I said, the for the for the cannon that went off, uh, Abraham, one of the Indians, actually mm -hmm. lit it in the previous scene. Oh, okay. okay. So you can blame him for their deaths. Right, because he, yeah, primed the cannon. Yep. Or fired the cannon, yeah. I guess. Neat. Oh, really? You can f see people falling overboard in the di in the doom, yeah. and then go back a previous scene to see who was standing there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. I enjoy that. I I think that's a good way of of uh, saying that there's going to be ambiguity in a game. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. not making it terribly frustrating. You can also see, like, the carpenters coming out of their the office with, like, a hammer. Oh, okay. I, I completely missed that yeah. as well. Um, 
also I just want to talk about the aesthetic of this game and why it works. Like what Lucas Pope with um, Papers Please. Yeah. Right. Also had a very deliberately lo-fi. Yeah, uh, very lo-fi, very pixel heavy. Yeah. Very um, but limited color palette. Yeah, like uh, Papers Please could have been on the Nintendo. Right. This feels like it could have been on the Mac. Yeah. Like Mac Classic. Um, Even though the uh, the first person movement is a little too smooth for that. Mm -hmm. Yes, but the the um, the strict monochrome uh, feels like it. It, it yeah. definitely tries to mimic the aesthetic of it. And I'm curious about like, does that mean anything in particular, or is it just something that he likes? I don't know. Like, I feel like the more abstracted and limited color space means that the gore we're exposed to is less. Hmm. real, like less personal. Yeah. Like or, if, if you had to look at a person's guts in 3D, it would be a different, it would be like one of the like uh, uh, Saw games. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I suppose it gives it a kind of like, um, if you play those games, it might give you a certain set of expectations for it. Right. In, in how it will feel. Like if you were to play a game that mimicked old Sierra online uh, adventure games. Right, which right. do exist because people love to riff on that aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you would start to expect bullshit puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, and this, I guess, yeah. Uh, there were two Nintendo adventure games that I remember quite fondly. One was called Deja Vu, and the other was something like Shadow something Castle. Okay. And they would just have like one scene and then a list of like actions and you could like click on the action. Right. And then one of them you had to like, you know, it could be like pick up or open. Shadowgate? Shadowgate, maybe? Uh, but you could open the book on the shelf because if you picked up the book, yeah. it activated a trap. But if you opened the book, then there was a key inside that you could take. Rude. Yeah. Shadowgate. Oh, apparently, like, one of the dialogue things, one of the, the the Americans says they call someone boss. Right. Which is an Americanism. Okay. Okay. The, the ICOM games, which were originally on the Mac 2 Plus. Oh, okay. Definitely Shadowgate? Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't have any experience with those games. My mm. adventure game experience is the old Sierra stuff and mm. Lucas Arts. So like the the Indiana Jones point and click adventure games, mm -hmm. and like the early or the late rather King's Quest stuff is oh. my my jam, and uh, late Space Quest and Police Quest and those. Yeah, well, I, I remember one of the first games that I played at a friend's house when I was young was King's Quest Two, and. Mm discovering that you could only cross the bridge in King's because you had to like go out and do stuff yeah and then you had to go to a secret like or to a magic portal and unlock something on the magic portal but you could only cross the bridge to the magic portal a certain number of times mm. so mm -hmm. they were so terrible yeah mine was heavily pun based had a genie that was addicted to mint and mm. uh fairy tale influences right sounds like five uh, air today gone tomorrow oh that was that was five or six, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> six? six? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, like the the early Sierra games were not like the very early ones. Not kind. Not yeah, not well designed either. Yeah. Um They they really, really uh punished players quite hard for Oh like, yeah. Very minor things, um, but I guess they're they're how we got to where we are, for sure. Uh, but wow, what a delightful game! Like it's just it's so satisfying, even if you guess mm -hmm. on the names, you're just like, yes, I made it a little further. Yep. Yeah, and and as as you constrain the number of names, yeah, it it. It's very rewarding and very satisfying. So, like, when we started this stream, we had 33 names out of 60. Mm -hmm. And, like I said, it just snowballs. Like, you're just mm. falling down the stairs at the end. 
Yeah, as you're like, able to it assign It has to be things. this and this and this and this. Yep. And that's a great feeling. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and you're finally, like, confident about, like, what people are wearing and what section of the ship they're in and what their jobs are. Mm -hmm. and, and you feel like you're developing some aptitude for, you know, nautical things. Yeah. Right? It's like, oh, well, this is a midshipman and this is what their job is. And this has to be, like, a top man. Because... This man is standing next to this man because he's his steward. Yeah. And, okay, these people are lifting things and the only people who'd be doing that are the seamen. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, well, shall we thank subs? Let's do that. Okay, thank you so much for for this, Corey. This is so good. Haha. -ha. And thank you also to uh, Ben Swallow, who also oh. pestered us to play this. Yes, yeah. Thank you, uh, Dandy Geek, in, in chat. Yeah. Uh, Jock Mill has come back for the 10th month. Thank you. Koizum for t 46 months. Thank you. Nosrak 2 has come back for the 20th month. Couldn't pick a new username. 32 months. Return of the username DIN. Anti-Muffin has come back for the 25th month. 25 months. Corey, I really enjoyed your HCD playthrough, but I watch most of them via VOD and don't get to say so at the time. Happy investigating. Thank you. Uh, Keith Skick. 12 months. Happy one year. Forced Reject came back for the 33rd month. Thank you. The Mary Cat with 500 bits. You are doing fine, Cam. This is fun. Uh... Uh, uh, Xanto69 gave us 50 bits. If I could get a bag of chips to crunch like that, oh god, Like yeah. a spine? Or like those? Oh, yeah, it was either the, the, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mano cool, 20 months. So apparently Twitch doesn't tell you when your reset message is too long, it just eats it? Anyway, long story short, my router's borked and your YouTube VODs are the only thing I can get to work, so thanks. You're welcome. Secret Branch came back for the 12th month, happy one year. Jazzy JRW, 20 months, thank you. Jador came back for the 14th month. Thank you. And Eblock with those 219 bits. Thank you. Uh, Chief Engineer Michael gave us 100 bits. Artist death transcript. Outrageous shitting. Sigh of relief. Crunchy noise. <laughs> Crunch fart. Got that right from Ben. Mm-hmm. And then a 17-month resub from Phoenix888. Lunar Eclipse123 gave us 100 bits. Almost overdone. Chief Engineer Michael, 50 bits for the monkey's paw. Uh, Engel5272 gave us 100 bits. Space Quest 3 is where I got my start. Always seemed to like that series over King's Quest. Yeah, the, yeah. See, yeah. I bounced off of Space Quest because the version we had, I think it was like number three, but there's like a junk pile. And if you mm -hmm. tried to climb the junk pile, you would like lacerate yourself and find oh, it out. Yeah. I, I always like Quest for Glory mm. or Hero's Quest. Mm. They had to change it because Hero Quest yes. exist. existed. Uh, formerly Formal gave us 250 bits. Thanks, Cam and Corey. Really enjoying talking, Sim. Thank you. I think I stepped on your... Hmm? I think I took yours there. Sorry. Fine, I'll take the next two. E-block, <laughs> two... Five, 516 bits. Uh, thank you, Cameron and Corey. Really enjoyed that. And Grunkus Dunkus. 23 months. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Or... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Probably. Uh, so... Ben and Adam are here to play, um, to nope. To nope. To nope. They're playing Lands of Fear 2, I believe, still. Oh, good. Let me check. Let I, me check. I, Let me I check. hope it's good. I hope they're playing it. Fish Hell looked like a lot of fun. Yes, they are. All right. Yes. So that'll, that'll take you to, uh, the evening tonight here on Loading Ready Run. And then tomorrow, uh, Kathleen and Matt will be playing Roommates on Now Kiss. Yep. We get some AFK with dice from time to get away from keyboard. I don't know who's playing. And, Ian's one of them. Ah, checkpoint in the afternoon. Hmm. Or in the Thursday. Uh, Thursday. And followed then magic. Followed by magic. Magic, magic, magic. And in the evening, I <gasps> will be playing Betrayal. Betrayal Legacy. I don't know how Betrayal Legacy works. I really wanted to play out like a horror movie series mm. where you have like Betrayal at the House on the Hill, and then. Betrayal at the House on the Hill 2. Betrayal at the House on the End of the Lane. Betrayal yeah. in the basement of the House on the End of the Lane. Betrayal 3D. Mm. Betrayal 4. The beginning. Mm. Betrayal, Betrayal 5. 5. Bloodlines. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. No. Betrayal 6. In space. Oh. I, I, I don't know if that's actually how it works, but I want... <laughs> yeah, I want Betrayal yeah. in space, yeah. All of the good horror movies go to space. Eventually. Yeah, eventually. And then... They go to the city. Yeah. 
got Paper Fight. I think they're doing some Commandos on yeah, Friday. I'll, I'll be playing Commander on got Friday. Adam stuff. Playing Ooh, Dark apparently Siders. Darksiders. Cool. And then I think Ben will be back, back with, with a plague. plague. With the plague, yes. Mm. Ben has the plague. Yeah. yeah. Hellraiser was it Hellraiser four that went to space? Where they were that on the space is station? Bloodlines, which is yeah, yeah I, I, I recently watched up to Hellraiser 6. They they get row. so bad. Oh, uh, but... Uh, it gets so bad. It, it has a baby um, Adam Scott in it with long hair. Really? Long Victorian era hair. Uh, oh. He's a baby. It's the 80s. But then, like, there's the one Cenobite that fires CDs. Yes. Yes, that's from and, number three, I think. Yeah, it just sucks it's so just, bad. There's uh, Hellraiser and Hellraiser 2, Hellbound. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are, and then Inferno, are, and yeah, just great horror films. But uh, <laughs> just yeah, a lot of skinless people. Yeah, <laughs> lots exactly. Lots of lots of skinless people. Uh, what are we playing next on Talking Sam? I don't think I don't know. We haven't yet. actually talked to James about it. We should figure that out, and we'll let you know when after we, we let know. James know. See you all in the future. Bye. Bye.